Hi and welcome to our 106th test and measurement video. Today's topic is the familiar ramp wave closely related to the triangle and sawtooth waves. We'll use two tectronics instruments, an AFG31000 series arbitrary waveform generator to synthesize the waveform, and an MDO3000 series oscilloscope to display it. The hookup is simple. Just run a BNC cable from the function generator channel 1 output to the oscilloscope analog channel 1 input. Activate the channels in both instruments. The AFG has a touch screen which is very convenient. On the front panel press the home button and then on the screen touch basic not advanced. Be sure that the AFG is in the continuous mode as opposed to modulation, sweep, or burst. In the continuous mode, the AFG will send out any of the 12 waveforms in its reference library, plus arbitrary, which permits the user to generate an almost infinite number of custom waveforms. When you first touch continuous, the default sine wave appears in both channels. To choose other waveforms, touch the sign tab and select from the drop down menu. Here, for example, is square. Notice the noise floor that can be seen at the high frequency portions of the waveform. What we are interested in today is the ramp wave, also called the triangle wave. It resembles the square wave with two important differences. The square wave has an abrupt, almost instantaneous rise time and decay, with its high and low amplitudes based on the frequency and wavelength of the function. The ramp wave has short, close to zero duration at its high and low peaks, with the duration of rising and falling slopes determined by the frequency and wavelength. What is intriguing about the ramp wave is the way in which it is generated. First, by way of perspective, we'll return to the sine wave. In the time domain mode, the vertical y-axis represents electrical force in volts, while the horizontal x-axis represents time, usually in seconds or parts thereof. Shown in the oscilloscope time domain display, the rate of change is greatest when voltage is least, and the rate of change is least when voltage is greatest. This is analogous to the motion of a pendulum, which is slowest when the weight peaks out farthest from the Earth's center of gravity. In fact, all force fields affect bodies in space in ways that can be represented by the sine function. Regarding the ramp wave, it can be generated by electrical, mechanical, acoustical, or other means. One method for generating a ramp wave is to apply positive or negative current to a capacitor, reversing the polarity when the amplitude of the current attains a predetermined level. This is done by a semiconductor such as the op, op amp configured as a comparator. A useful comparator consists of a high gain differential amplifier. The circuit is built with no feedback or external connection between the single output and one of the inputs. A variation is the sawtooth wave. It is similar to the ramp wave, but rather than a slope of decay equal to slope of rise time with opposite polarity, it has instantaneous decay. This waveform was used for horizontal deflection 
in the old C TV CRT type picture tube with magnetic deflection and in the pre-flat screen oscilloscopes with electrostatic deflection. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.